Hello guys and welcome to WD18 Watford Fan Channel. I'm going to be doing the vlog today instead of Jacob, he'll be doing all the fan cams. I'm here with Nick Hill. What's happening guys, how are you? Nick Hill, we've seen the uh, team sheet, a very strong 4-3-3, Kapu carrying on, uh, Dini back in from his suspension, what do you make of it? You know what, I think um, when I did my preview um, for the channel, I said that start with a strong team, full pelt, go with Dukue, do go with Cleverly because First of all, Bristol City are not an easy opposition. Yeah, they'll, um, they'll be set up well, I think. They'll be set up well. Okay, mate, maybe there's a chance that because they're playing Man City on Yeah, they've, just, they've, they've made seven changes, but they've still got Flynn in the, in the back, who's always going to be good. Yeah, and I thought I think we should just go full pelt, you know? Like, FA Cup for, for a team like Watford, we need to try and... Like, we, we, we saw a couple of seasons ago we were in the semi-final, you know? So we need to try and um, go full pelt, and the team's really looking good. And I don't, if we... If we lose this from from this team, then I, I don't know what's happening. Definitely. Then I think it's just a mentality thing, you know? Yeah, definitely. What do you think the, uh, the score prediction is going to be? Well, um, I said actually 1-1 one, one and then going to the third round replay. But now seeing this team, uh, I'm going to be optimistic as always. I say 2-1. Uh, I think it's going to be a comfortable 3-0 win now looking at this team. I think Dini is going to get a goal from open play for the first time in a while. Yeah. And yeah, I don't know who else is going to score, but I'm, I'm much more confident. But if we lose this, we, we are definitely in trouble. See you guys inside the ground. So guys, we're here with Jacob. And right. Both in the upgrade and Taylor here. Bristol City fans are out in force. There's only about... 1,000, 2,000 of them, there's going to be way more of them going to Man City, but Jacob, what do you make of the uh, starting 11? It's strong, stronger than I thought. Um, good to see Charles get a break. The core race still playing, so obviously he's all right, but I would have started Andre Gray. That's the only problem I have with the team today. Maybe get his confidence up against the dodgy and, and changed Bristol City team, but apart from that, I can't really complain. Hopefully, I've gone for a 2-0 uh, Watford. Um, yeah, I went 3-0. 3-0. Oh, it was That's really confident. positive. Really as long positive. as we win today, but we, there's no excuses. Compa if you compare the two teams, there's uh, quite a big difference in quality, but we have to win today. What? Oh, oh, cross, cross. Back post, Dini. Oh! First good chance of the game there. Troy Dini with a lovely header. Beat Aidan Flynn. Young Matt's definitely going to have one here. Oh, since Pereira. Oh, oh, good save by Steele. Great save by Steele. The deflection was very awkward. Pereira got the shot away and Steele was equal to it from very close range, about six yards. Oh, what a ball. Cleverly. Oh, good save by Steele. Even better ball from uh, Carrillo, I think that was. But now I've got to make sure that we uh, don't concede from this counter-attack. Cabaselli's just been yellow carded there for a very bad challenge from this angle. We did go in studs up. Could have been a red. The whole stand went, ooh. Very lucky to stay with 11 men on the pitch. Go on, Pereira. Oh, shoot! Shoot! Yay! Carrillo! What a finish. Great play. Absolutely brilliant play by Pereira. And I think it was Kapu, a little interchange from a throw in. Give it to Carrillo, didn't shoot first time. Took a touch round the defender and slotted it past for Watford to be 1 0 up. Come on! It's half time. Watford 1 Bristol City 0. Fairly comprehensively dominant half. Um, not really much to say apart from we deserve the goal. So yeah, let's move straight on to the second half where hopefully we can grab some more. Good attack here. Give it to Pereira, cut in. Shoot! Oh! Oh! Kapu! Oh! Cleverly! Oh! Bang it! Pereira! Oh! Could no one score? Come on! It's absolutely... Absolutely farcical. Have we not scored? Hey! Troy Deeney from out of nowhere! I wasn't even recording! Oh! What diving header! Deeney! Four game suspension, he's come back and he scored straight away. Take that Andre Gray and Stefano Akaka. Great diving header, great run. Watford! How has Matty Taylor not scored that free header six yards out? The goal gaping, and he's put it incredibly wide. Could have been 2 1, should have been 2 1. Oh, Rich Arlison, lob him, lob him! Oh! He had a good chance there, but he just popped it straight at the keeper. I think he was trying to lob him, but he didn't get under it enough. Dini, you gotta shoot! Kapu, you gotta shoot! Yeah! Etienne Kapu! Probably gonna end this spell at Watford by going 
to West Ham or somewhere like that. Sell him. We all want to sell him, let's be honest. But he's got a goal. And to be fair, I'm really happy for him. She's had a good career here at Watford. He had a decent time. 3-0. It's happy, happy days.